All right, yeah, let's do a riders list. I'm intrigued because you've mentioned a couple of injuries. Yeah, already. there's actually well, normally one guy or two guys on average each year can't come because they're injured. But yeah. this year, uh, I think Lemoyne has broken both his feet, um, which is unfortunate because he was really cool. Did you see? Did you see the crash? No, I've it not was, seen the crash. Oh man, it really sucks. Was it, it was a big like, end? Yeah, really, really big. I, I, if it is the crash that I think it is, which I think it is, his like welcome to comments out. Yeah, he's edit. filming his new edit. Apparently. Yeah, and he does like a quad at the end, and um, obviously he's like, like it's so frustrating when when you see a crash. Like, so I'd say the same for your wrist. Like you know how calculated Lemoyne is. He's so like, good as well. He's probably so one of the most good at biking. So calculated, and like I know how calculated you are when you when you broke your wrist on that. Yeah, that's that the most wrong I've ever got anything. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. And, like, even even to a certain extent, me nailing myself on my silly little canyon even, not to compare, but, like, I am actually good at working out how Usually, to do yeah. stuff. And then, and then when you just see the video, you're just like... That's a crazy what? person, he doesn't know yeah, anything. Yeah, it's like a quad, and he, he lands in the back of it, in the Oof. back of the landing. It's like a quad in a bike park, by the looks of things. Uh, okay. But horrible, horrible crash, and it's like... Yeah, it's so like uh, not uh, uncharacteristic, isn't it? Yeah, uncharacteristic, exactly. Yeah, but that's what a crash is, isn't it? Like, so it is. It's always uncharacteristic. Play really. silly games, win silly prizes. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else is injured? Sea Dog, obviously, we just talked about. Yeah. He's still injured from that rampage drop. The drop. I think his shoulder is just not quite ready, and he's not ridden for four months, so he doesn't want to. Yeah, he don't really <clears throat> rightfully um, get going there. Um, who else is injured? I think Cade's stuck in Chile. He's not injured, but I'm not sure if he's going to make it or not. He's going to try and get a different passport or something. Fingers crossed. He's pretty excited. Yeah, he's awesome. But I think they got robbed or something in their passports. Right, right. So how do you go about building the rider lineup? Rider lineup. It's kind of so we've got the original guys. The ba- well, obviously McDuff and me did the first Pure Darkness, which is where the whole thing started back in South Africa. Sea Dog. I'm uh, actually a Pure Darkness alumni. You are. You came yeah, out as well, didn't you? You yeah, jumped yeah, a step yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. You were there for like a day. Yeah. That was weird, isn't it? Yeah. That was 10 years ago. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I crashed then as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not And calculated. we'll be crashing in 10 years' time, I'm I was sure. I following you as well when I crashed. Yeah, you're right. You were. Mate, I've got to say, not to, we talked about this, not to make it, me 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 but like that was that is one of my like i've got like a vibrant memory of that really of following you in of, of the sound of my because it was on a hard tail it was wasn't it and the sound of my um uh free will should we <laughs> find that clip I've never where can ever we find heard that clip? my free will make that noise ever the no not on a jump bike because that was so far beyond anything at the time wasn't it, it was yeah really big so that that was your first stint it's yeah. so weird to think, eh? True, yeah, that's kind of where it all came from. And yeah, that was with McDuff um, and some Welsh boys, actually, that's yeah. sort of a bit more dad now. They don't really come. Yeah. Um, then that sort of turned into Dark Fest when we mixed with the Fest crew and those guys all came. So kind of everyone on the first years, they're like the OGs and we kind of always give them a, a first invite. They're like the legends. You know right, you're always okay. going to get something good from them. Um, the Nikolai's, McDuff. Sea Dog. Yeah. Um, so they're your, your foundations. You're always going to have clips from it. Are you, are you thinking about that? You're always going to have clips of these stars. Yeah, I think it's just, I think, and it's just fair as well. Like they were there from yeah, the beginning. Yeah. We, we owe them that they believed in the project and they wanted to come out and spend their money on their flight there. So we're forever grateful. Absolutely. I guess what I mean is if you get like a one of the legends doing a whip over a jump, it mm. holds real value still, doesn't it? Yeah, like, I think so. Like a wild card. <clears throat> Doing a whip over the jump doesn't hold the same value as like. It's a, true, yeah. Let's say Aggie, he's on the list this year, right? He's coming back, yeah. After I think four years or three years of injury, where he's right, wanted to yeah. come, so that would be cool. Like you said, yeah, you need a, a. We we always try and get a good mix of legends, obviously, and then some fresh blood as well for people who deserve right a so, spot there. So what does fresh? What does the fresh blood category? Um, what would you say <laughs> that's that's like? What are you looking for in that category? We um, A lot of guys get a bit upset and like ask, like, oh, why haven't you invited me and stuff? I do have one solid rule, which is that I have to have ridden with that person okay, yeah. in real life before. Like, uh, if I've never met you, you could be the best rider in the world. But I don't know. Like, it's just, it's sort of, it's nothing against you. I would love you to come, but we have to ride together one day. What's your reason for that rule? 
w- was always safety. Yeah. Because you can watch people do videos of, I don't know, a huge jump. But you don't know what's gone into it. You don't know what skill they've had if that took them 20 goes and they had massive crashes because we're there to do cool stuff at the end of the day. We don't want to see big injuries like yeah. that ruins the day. That ruins everyone's vibe. Like it makes it not feel good. And I don't want people to get hurt in the the thing that I've kind of made. So main thing is safety and also a bit of a vibe check. You know, like there's 30, 30 of us staying in one house. You sit in a uplift truck with five people. You yeah. sat on each other's laps and it's, I don't know, like a week long and the emotions are high. The tensions are high. There's a lot of pressure. We don't want people ruining it. You don't want people like making it into a weird thing. You don't want weird competition. Yeah. So kind of like a vibe check is super important. They have to bring bring something along like... Obviously, if you're that good at riding and you want to sit in the corner and be quiet, that's fine. Then you get a spot too. But yeah. n- more, the whole event is a fun time and everyone rides better when it's more fun. Yeah. So it's definitely, a, if you're not going to fit in, then you probably, you might not get the call. I guess the reason you know all of that is because you've done years of going to events where maybe they, like it, it's the thing that's hard to put together, isn't it? It's like. I said, it needs the X factor. I really feel like we've got something special still. Wicked. The X factor. Some events you go to, it's amazing. The jumps are amazing. The crew is pretty cool. And then, but it just doesn't have that thing that makes it yeah. like, wow, I have to go there. But I feel Darkfest still, like I have to just watch the highlight video and then I'm like, oh, cool. I'm yeah. so excited to make it again this year. So yeah, vibe check is super important actually. And yeah, so everyone on the list, thank you for being cool. And, uh, Rad. Yeah. Who have we got that's new on the list this year? So some what's fresh an example? This yeah. year, we. I just. I don't know if everyone remembers Talis Turk from Rampage. He did yeah, his first Rampage. So. He impressed there, and he really impressed me at Freeride Fiesta last year. And again, just was a cool guy. Came and said hi, yeah. talked, and he wasn't annoying. And I thought it was really funny. And then He's, he was. He said something on the live jump. stream that was well funny. He did say something <laughs> pretty funny on the live feed as well. So yeah. yeah, he's coming. There's a guy called Dylan Stark. Um, he's more of an American guy. Actually, he did a grind at Rampage, if everyone remembers that. Yes, he had the grind rail. Yeah, you yeah. were there with him. He yeah, whacked was out there, his yeah. grind rail. He had his mates in like um, special ops outfits in the morning yeah. getting it out. It must have been quite a quite a uh, operation to get a grind rail into the desert. Like, you know, it's so far, far isn't it? to get in. Hey, if you could get it there, I wonder if you could get it to Darkfest yeah, and set it up go, at the top. Yeah. Excess I wonder if they want to. <laughs> uh, Dan Paley. From the 50 oh, to 1 nice. boys. He's quality. He's like a BMX mountain bike jibby guy. And again, met him at Adolf's event, the Backyard Battle. And he was just hilarious. He's very impressive, isn't he? Yeah, and just brings a great vibe to everyone else, which is, yeah. like I said, what we're looking for a lot of the time is just someone who's going to get up at 5 o'clock, going to be excited. He's going to go want to water the jumps, get yeah. everyone to get excited about playing on their bikes and have fun. So, yeah, he's in there. Gemma Cobera, so we've got another girl. I think that brings nice. us up to seven girls for this year. So she's Lapoma. Yeah, local. I think she's Barcelona local. She's Road done some her. pretty massive backflips, so that's kind of yeah. Cool. We'd love to see some big, uh, some big flips. Yeah, the girl category's growing, isn't it? Isn't Ver- Vero's injured? Is that Vero's correct? on the injured list? You're right. Yeah, so she's. Um, I think she's still coming along. Cool. To um, I guess make videos, do iPhone clips and stuff like that. Yeah, Same yeah. with Sea Dog. He's coming as well, and myself also now. Unfortunately. On the injured list. Right. How'd it happen? What an episode. You did really well, though. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll finish it off. What? If you could put some sort of link over my face. Yeah, I can do that. I could put a right? video up on Ollie's face of an episode we think you'll love. Is it on now? There is a subscribe button here on this chair. And on my face, another video we think you'll love. Thank you. We appreciate you. There's nothing in the chair now. Subscribe. <laughs>